Protests turned destructive in downtown Seattle tonight. Here's what we know as of 10 o'clock. Protests started at about noon today in Seattle, but turned destructive right around 4 p.m. when someone lit a Seattle police cruiser on fire. Since then, we have seen widespread looting and destruction downtown. But, but we can actually see just how much destruction is out here. If you just kind of look along the sidewalk, you see so much broken glass. It, there's just trash thrown everywhere. It's thrown out in the street. I saw a truck roll through here just a few minutes ago. The whole back of it was just full of uh, pieces of wood, plywood, just to put over windows. This is going to be a huge huge cleanup operation. But as her husband Ralph was trying to clean up outside, Alvarez says she turned to see him on the ground in front of a large crowd unconscious. I started to scream. I tried to wake him. He wouldn't wake back up and I tried to call for the police. No one was picking up. I tried to call from the phone in there. No one was picking up and people just kept coming by and just looking at him and I wanted him to wake up. When she went to help him, that's when she says she was attacked. A woman came out of nowhere and hit me over the back with the crowbar. Alvarez finally got through to 911 on her cell phone. She says her husband was taken to Stroger Hospital with a serious head injury. The people that did this, the people that I saw, they weren't protesters. Protesters have a cause. This is a struggle. We're angry. We're angry at what is happening. But this is our city. They're tearing, whoever this is, looters, they are tearing it down. If somebody decides to loot a Gucci or a Macy's or a Nike, because that makes sure that that person eats, that makes sure that that person has clothes, that's reparations. That is reparations. Anything they want to take, take it, because these businesses have insurance. They're going to get their money back. My people aren't getting anything. 